What is going on guys, Jay here back with another video and today I'm uh, basically going to give you a little review of the Nycru Aquarium LEDs and they are pretty much the most popular LED that you can get on Amazon right now. It's got over like 1300 reviews or something like that. Um, there's a few people here on YouTube that are swearing up and down that they're not any good for plants and I beg to differ because I've grown pff, almost all of my plants uh, with Nycru LEDs. So basically on this tank, it's a 10 gallon, I have the, uh, I believe it's 19 to 27 inch model. The light itself is actually only 19 inches long, but it has um, four rows of LEDs that go all the way down. And it also has a uh, night mode. Um, let me see if this will pick up on camera very well. So that's the night mode. I don't really use that because I keep my lights on a timer. But basically, these lights are awesome for growing plants. Um, the Amazon website actually says that the LED itself, the white LEDs are uh, 7500K, but I started doing a little bit of research on the actual white LEDs themselves. They are SMD, 2835 LEDs I believe and they're actually 6000 K uh, on the color spectrum so that's why it looks a little bit more yellowish even with the blue lights on um, you can't turn the blue lights off unless you turn everything off by the way but uh, the brand of LED is called uh, Epistar that's where these LEDs actually come from each LED puts out 25 lumens and I believe there's 72 of them on uh, this light fixture itself so that would be like what 18,000 or not 18,000 <laughs> 1800 lumens and um, it definitely looks 1800 lumens to me uh, in person this light is actually really bright so um, let's see here each LED is uh, 0.2 watts so it's not like the uh, beams work LEDs those are um, I believe 0 0.5 watts uh, per LED so that's actually still not bad this whole fixture itself is only um, 11 watts so I haven't actually um, done the math or um, they have those little like watt meters that you can plug them into I'm sure it's more than 11 watts but uh, these LEDs do a fantastic job of growing plants anyone that tells you otherwise um, has clearly not used them to grow plants so I mean they'll pretty much grow anything except for like the really demanding uh, uh, plants like let's say dwarf baby tears maybe Mon Monte Carlo um, I know for a fact they even grow dwarf hair grass so um, I've grown dwarf hair grass in a 2.5 gallon with one of these lights uh, I actually have two of them. This is the 19 inch model like I said earlier and then I also have the 11 inch model. Um, that one is actually growing some water sprite right now which is a low light plant but it grows the freaking crap out of that plant. I actually have some in here as well. Um, there's actually a brand new sprout up over here going off this direction but I just recently switched back to this light today because um, for some reason, I feel like the Finex Stingray was just growing them. It was definitely growing them, but it's doing it really slow, and I want a little bit quicker growth. Um, I'll probably have to lower the amount of hours that this light is on per day, probably to around 10 instead of 13. I have these lights set for 13 hours a day, um, and I have been since this tank has been set up. But uh, yeah, let me take you off the tripod here and show you the actual LED itself. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this is the actual LED itself. It has a little switch over here, cable plugs in right here. Okay, I'm uh, hopefully not blind you to death, but uh, yep, blind you to death. <laughs> Anyways, I have one over here also. This is the water sprite that I was telling you about. Um, there's a brand new sprout there you're probably not going to see any of this stuff but um as you can see this water sprite is huge and it has been grown a hundred percent 
with that light. That one's a six watt, um, 11 inch model and it's it's doing a fantastic job and I really love the 6000K color spectrum. It's a little more yellow instead of blue like all the other planted LEDs that you're seeing nowadays. So anyways, that's my review of the Night Crew Aquarium LEDs and they are definitely more than capable of growing plants and algae. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. If you have a Night Crew planted aquarium as well post a video and i'll come check it out so uh if you're new to my channel please subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one